This is the pirate and the princess and the pirate. And the princess is downstairs. Um, we are leaving this wonderful marina today. It's almost kind of bittersweet. There's nobody here but us. Spent three days here just doing some repairs to the boat after our Great Lake Michigan trip. It was uh, just a lot of uh, a lot of fun being here. And uh, like I said, just three days of peace and tranquility and the ability to use the Caribbean shower whenever we wanted without anybody watching us. And We're going to cruise over and get some fuel and then we're going to head on down the, uh, uh, the riverway. Uh, destination today is Havana. That would not be Cuba. Not yet. Look out. We don't know what kind of adventures await us. I know the next lock and dam, the Peoria lock, is about three miles down. And we met some new people. They had dinner with us last night here on the docks on the boat. And uh, they told us it's a crazy contraption with a lot of telephone pole log type stuff. They reach down with a crane and they hook onto it and then lift it and pull. I don't know what to expect. I have no idea what's going on. I can't even picture a lot of what they were telling us. But uh, when we get there, if it's even halfway exciting, we'll definitely get on and share it with you guys. Okay, check this out. How high did the water have to be for the drift? See the drift? To catch the power lines and rip them off the poles. Check that out. It's just a pile of drift and another pile of drift that are holding them power lines down. Crazy.
she goes. Uh, no, just one way trip. I built this boat 19 years ago and I figured it needed to go down to Mississippi. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. I like your dog. She's looking a little old. about how the dam works here and there's some poles. Can you tell us about them? Is Are there, there some poles? Foot poles? There's actually a prop that goes this way and a horse that sits this way and, and uh, wickets lay down on the bottom. Down in the bottom of this thing? Right. Over there. This oh. is just a locked chamber. There's all the wickets across there. Wicket. Okay. I know what they're talking about now. And to open them, you grab a chain and pull them up. Uh, we've got uh, actually a bar down there. And you just have to take a 20 uh, foot rod and you down hook down there. And then the crane will lift them up out of the water. I get it now. Awesome. Yeah. And how long has it been running that way? Uh, this place is built between 35 and 38. Gotcha. It's very Next cool. Next year they're going to be water. Um, and do a whole redo? We're going to put these, uh, these bulkheads down here. We're going to put them at each end. And then we'll drain all of them. Okay. We'll this out. We'll do an inspection of the bottom. We're going to fix a couple of things in there. Yeah. How long will it be? When will it be closed? Uh, July 6th. Okay. Next year. How long are they predicting it'll take? Um, they're talking 60 days for us, I think. But, uh, some of the other ones are going to be having intermittent 60 oh, yeah. days shut down. They're, they're going to do six walks on the Illinois River. That's why we did this trip this year. We wanted to get done and have fun. And to move around and experience things. Yeah, there's a, I followed a couple of nests down here where they've had a bunch of eaglets come from each year they have there. So you're checking out eagle nests? Yeah. You, they got webcams in them and stuff or no? Uh, not these. I don't think too many people know they're there. I, oh, okay. I found them one year and there's another one up river, but this one's right over here. I'm going to go take some pictures of it now. But okay. The eaglets aren't in there anymore. They're out doing their thing now. They're past that. Might check you out on the way back through. I'm going to go take some pictures over there. Thanks for stopping. Yeah, so I'll check out your uh, car there. That's cool. Yeah, and you just might end up in a video if you don't mind. That's fine with me, yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, I'm going to take some more pictures. <laughs> Alright. Hey guys. Have a great yeah. day. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been an awesome day. I'm tired. As you can see, I'm a little red. We've had a lot of sun. I am the pirate. And through the screen door, we have... Hey, hold on. Yeah, 
There's the princess. Hi. She's behind the captain. Coming up, here she comes, Miss America. Um, so hey, anyway, here we are. And uh, guess what we've discovered today? This is super cool. Another dream come true, but this is another bucket list checkoff. Y'all gonna love this. How many times I said I want my own island? <laughs> right now, I have my own island. Look at this, ain't nobody here. Ain't nobody can really even get to this except for by a boat because it's an island. And it's absolutely gorgeous, man. What a pretty little piece of land right here in the middle of nothing. There's a jet ski coming. We could get visited by jet ski people, but this is the fun part. I've told people for years that I was gonna have an island. And now I got one. It may only island be for, for a the day. night. <laughs> oh, it may only be for the night, but now we have an island. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to share that with you. I think it's super funny, and I think we are going to have a jet ski visitor. I wonder if this is our friend that we this saw This could earlier. be our buddy. We He's met a guy a earlier on a jet ski. Yeah, that's him. He's out Come eagle on. watching and stuff like that. Once again, just want to share the excited stuff. We stopped for the night on an island. Pirate and Princess, over and out.